Hi guys, and welcome to Hop As Much Ball Vlogs. How are we doing? Okay, I just thought I'd come on uh, just to do a quick vlog, maybe. Uh, yeah, like, it's probably like a quick vlog, maybe a quick uh, bit of a catch up, a bit of a um, what's been going on uh, throughout Hop As Much Ball Vlogs. Why has there not been any motorsport vlogs uh, over the last, probably last couple of months, and also over. Um, obviously since uh, Croft last year, you know, that was uh, the last uh, motorsport vlog uh, that we did for potentially, um, yeah, the last motorsport vlog that was on the uh, channel. So just going to go into a bit of info and a bit of a background really what's been going on. Um, obviously, you know, we are trying our best to get out there. We're trying to get our best to do, obviously, vlogs and get... Um, get trackside as best as we can but unfortunately you know things um haven't been the best um for quite some time um throughout potentially maybe um whether you know it's been either i've been at work or you know just recently uh, a couple of weeks ago maybe last month towards the end of last month uh, Jen and I contracted COVID and uh, we had, we were a bit poorly. We had it felt like we had colds and <coughs> and we tested positive. So you know it's been a bit uh, bit ups and downs. It's been a bit of a whirlwind. You know, obviously you know trying to go trackside. Uh, obviously when you know for a fact work's got in the way or like I say, luckily when Jen and I were isolating from COVID, it was uh, the summer break. Uh, but obviously Jen it was still positive on, well, yeah, potentially Jen and I were still positive um, the weekend of, uh, well, we got out of isolation as of Knock Hill weekend. So, you know, potentially couldn't go to Knock Hill uh, because Jen was still obviously positive on the on the Saturday, but then she came negative on the uh, Sunday. So, you know, it's been a bit of a difficult uh, time you know work's been getting in the way my work commitments are they're about 50 50 uh obviously i work maybe a saturday or a sunday so sometimes a sunday and it clashes with touring cars like it has done at snetterton so i need to catch up with snetterton uh this weekend uh, well not this weekend but hopefully the next couple of days uh so yeah you know it's been a bit of a Bit of a whirlwind, bit of an ups and down uh, week at times because obviously there's been a few rounds where I've been at work and it's clashed and I've not been able to go. The next one that clashes obviously, obviously is going to be Fruxton where I'm actually working all next weekend which isn't really a problem. It's just the fact it, it also it's also practically some of the tracks are too far to get to. So, you know, it's trying to find, you know, the structure to get involved back into the swing of going trackside. Hopefully next year, uh, we've got potentially Snetterton in May next year. That's penciled in. Uh, just need to organise that. Just need to plan that and get that uh, potentially booked for next year. That is going to be uh, potentially probably the first round uh, that we attend next year. We're trying to look at potentially doing... Uh, Croft at the end of July, so after the summer break, uh, potentially heading over to the northeast and going to Croft. Um, so that's potentially next year. Um, but obviously, you know, it's been a bit difficult um, over time when I've been obviously trying to do vlogs, uh, trying to do motorsport vlogs. You know, I know for a fact people are looking at us on uh, YouTube, the YouTube side. Um, you know, losing subscribe, well, probably two subscribers because we're not been either most sport related, or it's just been waffling on, on to uh, YouTube. And yeah, okay, I get that. But you know, I've been trying to get things out and about. Hopefully, we're going to try and get potentially uh, my favourite racing cars from all the time, from growing up as a kid till now, uh, out there. We're going to try and get that out potentially next. Try and get it done next week if I can. Uh, probably be next Thursday when I can try and get that out. And also, uh, my favourite British touring car events uh, from either attending or watching it on telly. It doesn't whether doesn't really matter whether I've been attending or I've been 
uh, watching it on the telly um, as a kid or grow, as a grown up. So potentially that they're going to be the two vlogs that I'm going to try and get out uh, next week. I'll try and do that if I can. I'll try and get me schedule. Uh, try and get a schedule done. Also, you may have noticed if you are on Facebook, if you are on followers on the Facebook page, uh, we are potentially going to go live twice next week. Uh, to make up for tomorrow's live video. Tomorrow's live video, if you are on the Facebook page or you're on Instagram and you follow us on uh, potentially either the plat that platform, uh, the, the live videos aren't happening. I'm due uh, the rest of my tooth extraction, uh, the rest of my tooth to be removed tomorrow, uh, which means I'm going to be on stronger sedation. Uh, so I'm going to be uh, probably drugged up through uh, stronger sed IV sedation tomorrow. Uh, which means I'm going to be slightly drowsy and probably going to be in a lot of pain. The tooth's actually dead, so I'm not actually going to feel the, the t pain of the tooth. It's when the swelling goes down. And also, obviously, because of cutting into my gum to get the rest of the tooth out, it's going to be potentially... Uh, how can I put it? Potentially going to be a bit painful because, obviously, you know, cutting into my gum and then the gum's got to heal. So without me talking tomorrow, because I've got to be not doing anything for 24 hours potentially two days I've, I've took off tomorrow thursday and friday uh so thursday and friday i'll be having a two days of rest but hopefully by this time next week so tuesday uh this time next tuesday i should be okay ready for wednesday and thursday to do the live videos i, I don't want to i don't want to say if you watch us on um facebook or you watch us on instagram um that you know when live videos change or they get postponed i don't want to be postponing live videos um i'm trying to get the continuity going i'm trying to get out there you know try and get you guys the news and views across from what i think about btcc moto gp formula one british super rights you name it british gt try to do things but it's so difficult when you know all the things take over in your life like Okay, tomorrow's dental appointment, the tooth extraction. You know, I've not been in the best frame of mind today. I'm probably not going to be in the best frame of mind when I wake up tomorrow. I'm probably going to be literally full of anxiety, full of literally overloading, feeling really anxious, and I don't really want to do that. And then jump onto a, you know, sort of, sort of a way if I did a live video next week, you know, you guys are the core, you know, like I've said to each and every one of you guys that watch the live videos, whether it's on Instagram, Facebook, trying to go, hopefully try to go live eventually onto YouTube as well. So we're going to try and do potentially a lot more live videos into the, into the core of Hopper's Motorsport Vlogs, you know. Potentially what we could do is we could have one phone set up with, um, the Instagram, Facebook, and then potentially get another tripod like it is now, and uh, go onto YouTube at the same time. So you get three live videos. But obviously, obviously, where I am in my small Hoppers vlog cave or Hoppers vlog HQ, as I call it, you know, um, it's a bit small to try and get three tripods. So we're going to try and. Well, not three tripods, but obviously two tripods. So obviously one phone will sit next to the ordering phone, which is obviously the phone I use day to day, which is obviously, you know, what I'm recording this on. And then obviously either the spare phone or the old spare phone that I have recording onto YouTube or Instagram at the same time. So then you guys get best of both worlds. You know, we may go live. I'm not too sure whether Twitter has a live uh, feed where we can go live on Twitter. If not, then we'll try and figure some out for the Twitter. We're trying to get, potentially, if we can, over the next over the next few weeks, maybe the next couple of months, you know, to get bigger and better with the vlogs, you know. Yeah, okay, like I say, we've not been able to attend Trackside. We've not been able to do what we really wanted this year. It's been a bit of a, I hate to say, bummer or shitter, excuse the language. But, you know, it's been thereabouts. It's not been easy. You know, like I say, with work, or Jen and I have been tested positive for COVID. And I don't want to sound big headed, or I don't want to sound like I'm trying to utmost make you guys appreciate my time. 
you know, and I know you guys appreciate me coming on, giving my videos, etc., etc. Or if I'm on YouTube and stuff like that. It's been so difficult for the last couple of months where, you know, I've been okay. I've watched some of the live videos I've done in the past. I've even watched some of the the vlogs I've done in the past, and then some of them I've actually gone, why did I even say that in a live video, or why did I even say that in the vlog? And it's no disrespect to you guys. You, like I say, you guys are the core of Hoppers Motorsport Vlogs. You guys keep us going week in, week out. But I think some of my opinions or some of my views can be quite big-headed and quite strong-willed. And I don't want people to say to me, Hoppers, mate, you've said this about Ash Sutton. You say, you know, he, he has potential to win the title, but then he's not in your pick after a race weekend, or he's not now your driver that you think should win the title. That changes every time someone asks you the question. Why is that? Well, potentially, you know, it's because... You know, things do change, but I'm going to admit now, yes, Ash Sutton won race three at Snetterton at the weekend. You know, second win of the season. He's still third in the championship. I think he's still third in the championship. So, you know, it's going to be quite interesting at the moment. It's between Colin Turkins and, of course, Tom Ingram. Where I think, you know, between Colin and, of course, Tom. I think Ash is going to be there waiting for them two to crack because... If he's gonna, if he's, if he is third in the table and he's waiting for them to crack, he's gonna have to push now, potentially extremely more harder going into Fruxton, which is next meeting in two weeks' time, and you know there's potentially a lot of, um, a lot of, a lot of interest to see exactly what's gonna happen because I think at the moment Colin is now. Obviously, he's done now 600 races in BTCC. I think it's 600. Yeah, it must have been. It was either 600 or 500. I can't remember exactly. It's often we had a can't remember. But he he did that, and then he got race one, race two win. And then, it obviously, you know, to be there. And then Tingram's finished a trio of third. So that's now, because obviously Rick, Ricky Collard had finished third in race three but then had the the podium taken away due to uh knocking into Tingram and it was a bit like well hang on what's all this you know knocking into Tingram so it's a push to pass and it's like well hang on no it, it was a, it was meant to be kind of a clean and fair I, I, at the time I thought yeah it was a clean and fair move but then when you realized you always had it taken away maybe it was maybe it was destined to be you know, in front of the stewards. And, yeah, he got his podium taken away. His teammate Rory Butcher got re reprimanded for spinning around Stephen Jelly. It just shows exactly what's going on in BTCC with this hybrid here. You know, the hybrid, like I keep saying, the hybrid vlog needs to come out. I need to do the hybrid vlog. But I'm trying to sit, I'm, you know, I'm sitting down and trying to work things out for, for that. And I'm just like, I haven't really got the time of day or I haven't, or I haven't got the... I hate to say it, sometimes I haven't got the motivation. You know, I've been struggling with a bit of motivation even during the live videos, you know. People have jumped on into my live videos or jumped into the live videos over the last couple of weeks and yeah, it's been great, you know. I've been having people commenting and asking me questions or, you know, or just hearing my thoughts and opinions and sometimes I feel like the motivation that I give you guys <coughs> sometimes isn't the best you know and i'm wondering what's going on is it because i'm concerned for the lack of motorsport vlog being trackside or being at a rally stage or being doing something with motorsport out and about this year has that left a hole in the hoppers motorsport vlogs core you know is there been an issue with how things have been happening and yeah vlogs haven't been appearing on the channel you know sit down vlogs like they are now haven't been appearing on the channel when i want to do them it's either because i'm at work or you know i've not really had the motive as i say not had the motivation and i don't want people say 
say to me, hoppers, mate, don't worry about the motivation. You know, we're here for you. We're here to support you in a way. We're here to, you know, make sure everything goes well. It, it's not about that. It's about the fact is I feel like I've let people... I don't, I'm not going to say I've let you down. I feel like what's been going on isn't easy, you know. Um, you know, as I said, you know, <coughs> beforehand, Jen and I had COVID a couple of weeks ago. And, <coughs> excuse me. And, you know, it's it's kind of still, okay, we're both negative and both feel fine. Of that itself, that Wednesday night, I was going to do a one-off special live video on the vlog page just as a one-off because it was the summer break and we're heading into potentially heading towards like Knock Hill and you know okay I had a sore throat but I couldn't really feel like I was up for it and I was ready to say right well I've tested positive for COVID now's the time to you know get better and get over that like I have done but you know it's one thing after another had COVID Jen gets it Jen's recovered Jen gets a chest infection with it so you know it's been it's been trying to look after her as well as look after me and uh, you know it seems it seems it's what you know like I say it's one thing after another then it's like I'm back at work then I've got then I've had a week off and it's like motivation for the vlogs during my week off had seemed to be not really wanting to do and you might watch this now and you might think hoppers mate don't worry about it you know at the end of the day it's your vlogs we're 100 behind you whatever you decide to do but then i hate to say this but as of like I say with this tooth extraction tomorrow it's playing on my head so many times. It's played on my head at work today. You know, it didn't help when, you know, I went to, obviously went to work this morning. Then they were announcing they were doing fire alarm tests, which I hate fire alarm noises. They're loud, they're kind of in your ear. Yeah, okay, I put up with touring cars. Don't want to put up with the noise of that. But they were doing fire alarm tests, and I was just like, oh, it's, you know, can't work with a fire alarm just going in my ear. You know, and it's kind of, kind of like you know what's going on with the motivation. Is it am I struggling? You know, what, why am I struggling to do a hoppers much spot vlog? Why why have I struggled for a couple of weeks or maybe even a couple of months? You know, the last one, the about me vlog, it's had so many likes, but it's never had any comments, and I don't know whether that's because people weren't really having a comment to say or whether they were just look watching it and liking it just because it helps but then you know there's so much things i wanted to do i remember this year i went to go and see ty cuff at go-kart unfortunately i didn't go which was annoying uh it kind of got to a point where you know i wanted to go and see ty go-kart as a vlog it would have been a decent vlog to have a go-kart vlog and you know btcc has clashed with work and it's not been easy and i don't want people to say to me hoppers mate you know what is going on it's your choice you know you decide what happens with the vlogs it's not about giving up i'm not i'm, I'm trying to say as as you guys probably watch this later and right as the vlog goes on I'm not giving up the vlogs. That's the last thing I want to do is give up and potentially throw it all the way and throw it down the pan. You know, the amount of work I've put in, you know, I've had my brother Dave help me edit the vlogs. I'm even trying to throw in vlogs myself and I can't... With you guys being the core and me trying to give you vlogs every week, it's not been easy. I've, I've had... Probably over the last couple of weeks where I've gone on a live video and yeah, people have said 
nice things. People give me questions. People have said nice things. People have asked me, what do I think about this? Or, you know, it's good to see you. You know, family's family. You know, you've got to look after yourself. Vlogs can wait. And and this is another thing, you know, people say vlogs can wait, but then I don't want my my fan base, the adoring fan base, to hop as much about vlogs to be, how can I put it, you know, potentially out there and waiting for the next vlog. At the end of the day, like I said, I've got two vlogs, potentially, maybe even potentially three next Thursday before I go live at half past eight UK time in the evening for a live video. You know, I've got what? made the super touring gear a btcc great you know i've written up to probably 1993 now and then i'm about to obviously start 1994 rise that up then obviously 95 96 98 97 98 99 and then obviously 2000 the final year of super touring from my own personal point of view i think you know stuff like that is going to be proven that you know even though we found the btcc in 1999 for the first time but then obviously when i've gone back into visiting previous years and wound back the clock and imagine that i'm that i'm watching btcc at 1991 up until the current day you know that would have been probably like now probably 32 maybe 33 years depending on the date you know and trying to follow it for a long time and Obviously, like I say, you know, I've been following Championship for 23, yeah, 23 years this year. And it's been, <coughs> I don't know how to explain how, you know, how magical it's been for me to, you know, for me to follow British Touring Cars. It's been difficult with, obviously, like the passenger ride, you know, that was 2020 and COVID, you know, that was somewhat really, the pandemic was out of our hands. We couldn't really go and watch the racing and you know like i say we managed to do the passenger ride but the passenger ride had to be done within the likes of not having a covid lockdown and potentially having restrictions in place so you know yeah we've done stuff like that then we went obviously went to croft full of spectators you know it may have been you know slightly excuse me but slightly like you know sorting things out and you know, like I say, tomorrow's dental extraction is another tip of the iceberg, which hasn't really formed what we really want. But, you know, enough of me rambling and waffling, but I hope you guys understand why I've not really been doing a lot. And hopefully the motivation does come back, because if it doesn't, I'm kind of worried, well, is that why I'm losing subscribers? Is that why I'm losing my thoughts and opinions you know is that why i think every time i've done a live video or every time i've done a vlog it's like it's a bit you know been a bit it's a bit a bit bit, a bit of a bummer that you know people have watched me in a live video yeah people have commented people have asked me questions but then when i've done a vlog and i'm like why did i say that in the vlog when you know it didn't it, should, it didn't really matter whether it is in the vlog or it wasn't you know or should have been another key point into the vlog and you know it's just one of them but i don't want people to watch this vlog now and think hoppers mate you you know so many things can wait so many stuff can wait you know your health and your family and stuff like that's all important yeah okay to put you know jen jen's in the other room right but jen knows when i'm doing a vlog and jen knows how disheartened i can be with certain things and is it you know is that really what a partner should do yeah okay she's my partner she's my future wife but you know i don't want people to look at me and go hoppers mate what were you on about the other day because you know you seem very down you seem a bit depressed about the vlogs what's going on i'm not down i'm not depressed about them i'm just trying to get that motivation motivation back that i had when I first started three years ago, is it because we're not being trackside this year? Is it because, you know, you things things wanted to be bigger and better, and or is it because, you know, it's just been one of them? And maybe, like I say, with the anxiety with the tooth extraction tomorrow, maybe that's why, you know, how I sound now, and maybe would have 
been on a live video last week and you know I was like you know really feeling great and people were respecting and people have been saying you know vlogs can wait you know put yourself first and it's true but I don't really want to be putting myself first and try to get vlogs out you know but I hope you guys understand what's been going on but let us know what you think you know let us know what you think I should do you know, don't, don't obviously say give up because that's what we don't want to do. I don't want to give up the vlogs. I don't want to be giving, potentially giving up hoppers and motorsport vlogs. I want to be doing this for quite some time. You know, like I say, I did it, started it purely because I was reaching 30 years old and now I'm 33 in two months. You know, so really I need to discover what I can do and what I can't do. You know, I don't want people saying, well, get out there go and do a motorsport event it's not easy you know with work etc but who knows what's going to happen but you know we're meant to potentially hopefully in october october is meant to be a really good time for hoppers motorsport vlogs we've got a follower a or a good friend of the vlogs who's been there since day one is a, a good friend of mine and jen's called daryl allen daryl's going to come and visit in october and we're going to be live on the facebook page uh, discussing the final rounds of BTCC, what we really thought of it, and we'll be watching two guys and we'll be watching Japanese Grand Prix as well. So, so, you know, I've got things like that to look forward to, but I don't want people to look at me and say, or oh, watch this now and say, mate, what's going on? What, you know, I want people to give me a bit of advice help to help me get more motivated. Obviously, keep them clean and sensible when you comment and stuff like that. And please do give us a thumbs up if you have liked this vlog. If you haven't, do put a thumbs down, I'm going to be offended. And yeah, you know, I want to know what's, what you guys think I should do. You know, I don't want to be, I'm not depressed. I'm not down about the vlogs. I just think, is there ways I can improve them? Is there ways you guys want to see them bigger and better and ways I can improve? But if you've, if you've, if you've got any suggestions, guys, please just let them know. Just let, stick it in the comments. But I'll see you guys very soon for another vlog, hopefully next week. Uh, we'll be doing the uh, uh, we'll be doing the um, potentially um, BTCC vlog uh, about the Super Touring era and stuff like that, and we'll see exactly what's going to happen. But I will see you guys very soon, and uh, who knows what will happen. But uh, please let us know in the comment section below, guys, what you think I should do, uh, whether it's um, you know do bigger and better things for the vlogs but let us know in the comment section below if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't please do give it a thumbs down but also please like and subscribe and click the notification bell because you don't want to miss me vlogs they are really vital for me and they're vital for everyone else but i'll see you guys very soon take care ta -ra.